Sherlock Holmes doesn't need another brain. Uh, he needs the most reliable, competent, dependable human being in the world. And in the judgment of a genius, that's what Dr. Watson is. No sooner have they met than, you know, Sherlock's dragging John off to this case. There is the, the, the cab driver murderer uh, who, uh, who's actually taking revenge. And, and, the, uh, and the choice of the pills uh, is all from the original. I worked this alkaloid into a small, soluble pill. In each pill, I put in a box with a similar pill made without the poison. The one thing Doyle doesn't do, which surely the story is crying out for, it should have ended with Sherlock Holmes being confronted with the choice of the pills. And so we did that. OK, two bottles. Explain. There's a good bottle and a bad bottle. You take the pill from the good bottle, you live. Take the pill from the bad bottle, you die. He's hostage to um, the threat of a bet, not of a gun. It's purely psychological, the link between him and the pill. Choose and eat. There is death in one and life in the other. I shall take what you leave. And to see if there is justice upon Earth. What sort of bemuses John is that, you know, you would have taken that pill. You would have done it in order just to prove a point. This is what you're really addicted to. You do anything, anything at all, to stop being bored. John is far more practical than that. You're not bored now, are you? Nick good. I always want John to um, have that respect that I think he's due. Three. 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 I think we go on. Oh, I wouldn't say that. The bullet they just dug out of the walls from a handgun. Kill shot over that distance from that kind of a weapon, that's a crack shot you're looking for, but not just a marksman. A fighter, tan, couldn't have shaken at all. Clearly climatized to violence. You're looking for a man probably with a history of military service and nerves of steel. Actually, do you know what? Ignore me. Sorry? Ignore all of that. It's just the uh, the shock talking. You always remember that Dr. Watson is, of all the people Sherlock Holmes ever met, this is the, the one he chose to rely on. <laughs> um, <clears throat> Sergeant Donovan's just been explaining everything. Two pills. It's a dreadful business, isn't it? Dreadful. Good shot. Yes. Yes, must have been through that window. Well, you know. The moment that he shoots him, that is without doubt the moment that they're bonded because, well, he's just saved his life. It's that simple. So you get your kicks, isn't it? Risking your life to prove you're clever. Why would I do that? Because you're an idiot. I think that's why they have this sort of schoolboy high at the end of that episode where they're kind of giggling. But one's just killed a man and the other's just toyed with death and provoked him to kill a man. It's quite serious stuff. Sorry, it's just the first time I've read it. It's really sort of hit me, because it just seems like adventure is fun in television. But um, in reality, it's that's quite, it's quite dark. Good night, Dr. Watson. John's intrigued by Sherlock, and rightly so. You, know, you, don't, you don't meet many Sherlock Holmes around. You know, he's a one-off. Interesting, that soldier fellow. He could be the making of my brother. I'll make him worse than ever. Either way, we'd better upgrade their surveillance status. Grade three, active. Sorry, sir, whose status? Sherlock Holmes and Dr. Watson. Hello, Sherlock fans. Please subscribe to the official YouTube channel for lots of great Sherlock videos.